sent home in disgrace from the Easter egg hunt. Yes, yeah, she w <laughs> So she didn't, well, I mean from the Easter bunny hunt, but she had, at least she got one, I gave her one, so yeah. Oh my, aquilegias, they do look lovely there. And the Friends of the Earth plants are coming out in bloom again. I've put them out just get, in case it rains today, so they need some moisture on their leaves. I do water them, um, but um, they look so lovely, so pretty. And in many ways, create the RSPB is a list of CD of bird songs, which is very nice. I've bitten the handle off yesterday, but I've worked out how I can get that edible soil, the cocoa nibs. I've got one of my lint bunny, gold bunnies here, and I'm hung on. Mm-mm. No, so. Hang on, I did it better yesterday. I mean, I didn't film it. Use it as a spoon. Mmm. 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 We strolled through the centre until we reached a room filled with countless volumes of music. Interesting programme on the radio, the Song Hunters, all about the, the, you know, I love the Georgian folk melodies and they're, they're talking about that, they've gone to Georgia. Anyhow, out of these, all I've got are those two left, which is the beautiful, delicious jasmine, jasmine tea one in white chocolate. This one's a um, Earl Grey tea in mandarin and this one I've had is the dark chocolate and ginger and there's the cocoa nibs which I'm not that keen on. So my summing up as I've already said this is nice but nothing like as delicious as the extraordinary dippy egg that he's done for the last couple of years for Waitrose which was a lovely dark chocolate egg covered in a layer of white chocolate looking like a speckled bird's egg and inside with the blue um, <coughs> I've got the empty box of these the um, <coughs> speckled eggs that were inside which he still did this year but not the egg dippy egg to go with them and that had edible soil inside with cocoa nibs and passion fruit pieces which was much nicer because this rabbit well, you, but I've touched it like the gold layer the edible gold, it's almost worn off now. You can see he's fainter than he was before. I'm sorry about my voice, I've still got this cold or whatever it is, bronchial trouble after <coughs> over a week. But yeah, anyhow, so I'm going to have something more of this now, and then I'm going to have some of my mint chockies that's in here, the Marks and Spencer's ones. Yeah. Here we are, there's one filled with the um, cocoa nibs, one of the bunnies I'm going to eat. <laughs> it's not... I prefer the original egg though. Come on, Heston, bring that back for next year, please. I mean, look, every year Lint bring out the gold Easter bunnies. That's just the thing that they bring out every year. So Heston could bring out the dippy egg every year, not... no more chocolate teapot. The dippy, the extraordinary dippy egg was much preferable, so please do that. I thought, I thought that was going to be a, the dippy egg, I thought was going to be a thing every year, like the lint gold bunny. So I wish he would. I never remember how to, if you put the clocks forward or back when they have to change twice a year, which I'm glad we do have to do. But Adrian Mole has just told me it's spring forward, fall back. Well, rather his ex-wife was telling him and he didn't believe that he thought she was being funny. So, so now I know, I can remember that. Spring forward, fall back. Hey, okay, that's good. <laughs>
one, but my tea bag is being reduced. And I have to turn my red. to this Barbie and she's come ever so quickly so um yeah that's the celebration Valentine's Barbie she's pretty she's very pretty celebration Barbie the Valentine's one for 2019 she's very pretty so I gave in and got one of the blue haired mermaid dollies after all you see the, you can't the glitter on her tail the camera's not picking it up and she's got a lovely sparkle on her. Yeah. She's got two tone blue hair. Got her from the entertainer. There she meets the family. There's Nadia. Who's this? This is Kiona, of course, you know by the legs. There's Clotilde, Marlise, Daniela, Grace, Lucinda, Malibu. Banya, Nora, Ulyssia, Skipper, Marga, oh, Juno, who else is here? There's Lorelei, Belle, Denise, <laughs> who's that round there? Merle, yeah, it's Merle. There's Esmeralda, Natasha, ah, oh, Birgitta. Tanya in her Easter outfit and um, I don't know, it looks okay, I wasn't sure at first but yeah, it looks okay, it looks quite nice and um, get the necklace around the right way, that's better, that's better. Lovely hair this girl, yeah, I think that, that does suit her. It's nice to get the dolly sorted out with something that looks good on them for their personality type. Well, they've all got their own individual personality. Right, I've got a... <coughs> let's look at this haul quickly. OK, there's my Marks and Spencers mint chockies. You've seen those many times. These also from Marks and Spencers. Would have to be upside down, wouldn't they? They're the gin collection. I think I've had those before. I've got two of these from my little friend from... Waitrose with salmon, cod, and sardine flavours. I've got two of these from the independent health food stores, my soya drink. Vitamin C from Waitrose, chewable vitamin C. My Amarula cream liqueur from Waitrose, you know, I love that. My favourite drink. Oh, the free paper you get when you've got a Waitrose cut. You know, I get these are all free from Waitrose, all these like the magazines and you get a free newspaper there you don't have to pay for the newspaper and of course you get a free cup of tea or coffee if you take a cup with you this is uh, the free food magazine and um, oh, you know get loads of like recipe leaf that looks nice oh that looks nice I got this from the independent health food store oh this from Waitrose there's a lot of free gifts in there including a nice pen and uh, we'll look at these in a moment. Oh, free inside. So there's all these things. Yeah. Right, so um, well, I don't know, I suppose I'm interested in what's, yeah, Little Mix. I don't think I've ever seen a magazine that does not have Little Mix inside. Um, not saying anything against them, just, you know, not particularly my sort of thing. But, uh, nice little pen look. I like the colour of it. Now, it matches my pink one that I bought from somewhere. There's the pink pom-pom. Looks a bit dusty com pink compared, doesn't it? And that's that nice sort of vibrant lilac-y colour. Icing sugar, liquid highlighter. I think we need a macro setting. So there we are. There's the... Uh, there's that compared to that one. Oh, they're all nice good together. <laughs> Excuse me, you know what I'm like. With me icing sugar liquid highlighter 
starstruck. Starstruck. I think that's a matte lipstick. I don't like matte lipstick usually, but there you go. Hot Tropic. Is this a blush? Mango smoothie. Blusher stick. Yeah. And uh, this looks very nice. Berry and yogurt. Berry bar from... There we are, look. From the independent health food store. That does look nice. I got these from the independent health food. Two of those. I showed those just now. And there's the Amarula. Now I've got some sweeties as well. I can't see those at the moment. They're in my bag. Uh, some nice strawberries and cream flavoured sweets. This from Marks and Spencers. Uh, gin and tonic, gin and cucumber, pink gin and damson gin. Gin. Oh, I'll it right in a minute. The uh, dolly from uh, the entertainer. There we are. Strawberries and cream. I'll just show you what they're like. They are nice. There we are. They're like, like so. I have one. Mm. They're nice. And the gin, different gin flavour. We've got a mouthful of some sweetie or some edible. It's not picking up the um, proper glittery effect. I've put that added tail. You've got the added bit of a tail to put in. She's got two tones, two tone blue hair. She's got the Millie face mould, as you can see. The other one looked like she had a longer face, so I got this one. There was a sticker on the box right in front of it. I had to peel that off and I was in there. There's the nice Valentine's Barbie. Here's the side of the box. And there's, you get those stickers on the back. They don't interest me, I must say. I'll take that girl out in a minute and we'll have a look. Now, the new fashion packs... Oh, this is not. This is, um... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I made that skirt for... Morgana. <coughs> oh dear me, I'm so sorry, my voice. And so that's her new outfit at the moment. There's the skirt that came with the fashion pack on Vanya here. She's the only one it fitted. And the only one it actually suited because it matches her shoes. It's far too big for all the other size Barbies. Here's the dress that I've put on um, Sonia here. But I'm going to give it to Hildegard because um, it's too casual for Sonia. It looks nice on Sonia, I think, but uh, she's a top model. She has more, she's got a very extensive wardrobe, this girl. So I'm going to give it to Hildegard. But Hildegard's got the sunglasses on from it here, and the jacket, and the top. I made the skirt for her from a balloon. A smaller balloon, so she's a smaller dolly, so it fits her. Let's take sunglasses off a moment. And not lose them. So there she is with the jacket on. It looks okay on her. There we are, she looks very nice. That's her, the top. And the skirt that I made for her, and plus the necklace. Um, bracelet I made for her as well. The batteries keep going. I've put new batteries in this camera and they're going. I'm so sorry. So, so I can't put it on the macro setting because it it switches the camera switches off straight away as soon as I do. I'm going to try. I'm going to put this red dress on her now. Garner in her outfit. She's got all these articulated joints and of course her legs were going all over the place when I was trying to put her skirt on and her boots. This is the problem with the articulation. Though of course it is nicer that you can pose them but it makes it, you, I'm worried I'm going to break them when I'm dressing them sometimes. So that's her black outfit. The boots were from a fashion pack. No, I think this looks all right on Sonia, but she doesn't like it. She doesn't think it suits her. So, um, uh, she's not keen on it at all, so... 
because I'm going to give this to Morgana. Um, <coughs> I was going to give it to my doll Sierra, who I can't find at the moment. She's wearing, I think, a Care Bears or... Yeah, I think she's wearing a Care Bears dress. She's got purple, well, lilac legs. She's put away somewhere at the moment, but I think I'd, I could... I, if I find her, I'm going to try it on her, but I think... Morgana can have it, as it doesn't really suit anyone, but she's the one it looks best on, I think, for some reason, even though it's not particularly her style. And here's Hildegard with the jacket on, with the dress, that's was all from the fashion pack I got from the entertainer yesterday, along with this. Here's the new girl. I think I'm going to call her Valentine. I know that's a man's name, I know, but um, I think... I could call her Valentina, but I, I, I like the name Valentine, so I don't want to call her Valentine, because she's a special Valentine girl. I've got another Valentine girl. I can't remember what I called her now, the other one. Oh, dear, that's a point. What about I call my other one? Letitia, was it? You know, I can't remember. But, um... Anyhow, there she is. I shall take her out at some point, but not today. I mean, I've, I shall take her out of the actual uh, packaging at some point, but I'm not going to do that today, so we'll do that another time, maybe when I've got the webcam. Right, there's the uh, a swatch of the liquid highlighter. I'd wear this as lipstick. That, this is quite nice. This is um the icing sugar. Claire's used to do something called icing sugar a long time ago. Oh, I'm having endless problems with the computer again. Oh, dear. Without going into all the details, anyhow, here's the um, gin o'clock chockies. Onion wheels and some Yeah, this is the um, <coughs> uh, oh sorry, I've had so much difficulty getting this camera done. T testers. Oh, these are the three things. That's the blush underneath, the matte lipstick, and then the highlighter. And I think they're very good. Oh, and there's Sonia. Oh. Would you be? I've gone midnight and then my phone's ringing. Oh, I know it'd be my friend. There's Sonia in her spring outfit. <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, Sonia in her spring outfit. She wore this last spring as well last year. So, um, it's rather nice on her, I think. She hasn't got a bag with it this year. Mm, she's fluffy. So, the dollies in their new outfits. And, uh, and then there's a new mermaid <laughs> hidden under under Sonia. So yeah, I think these are quite good, these free gifts. It's called um, Lilac... we probably call Morgana Lilac Dream here. I think she's, cause she's lilac, a lilac girl at the moment. So, you know what I'm like for my colour schemes. <laughs> oh, we can see her now. <coughs> I've got some of these today. Um, from her, like a... Housing Estate um, type shop. Happy Shopper onion rings. I did two for one. I got onion rings. But they're not real onion rings. They're maize. And I got the sour cream and chai flavour potato hoops or whatever. What else? And what's this? Oh, what's this we can see? What's this? What's this? My little pumpkin. There's somebody eating on her tatty teddy dish on a Saturday, because she always says that on a Saturday. Yes, she does. Now there's the um, is it a third or fourth year of this Friends of the Earth wildflower plants in their little coffee mug from Waitrose <laughs> that they don't even do anymore. The paper, look at the state of it, where the slugs ate it. But yeah, they're coming up just in there. I think that must be the third or fourth year in a row. And here's my aquilegias I got from Waitrose. Those are coming up. But yeah, I don't know what this one's going to be. I'm keeping them in because it's so very windy today. Storm Hannah, apparently. Poundland. Poundland. Alpacas on here. Poundland. Poundland. Lippy flops, co op, and co op, and sound land, Ori 
Oreos. on the other side. They look nice. Hmm. I think I prefer these because they've got cream inside. Hmm. There's Michaela in her new spring outfit. And um, one of those white Charles Psalms, so I've got two of them, but they're slightly different patterns. The other one's got butterflies. So yeah, she looks quite good in that. Oh, here's one of the wild flower plants. That looks like a sweet William. I've not seen one of these flower before from here. They've always been like mauve or purple colour, these ones. And the aquilegias are still going strong. There was a poor little gingery brown insect against my window. It's been there for a few days and I tried to rescue it with one of the tops from here. But the inner part is hang on. The inner part is longer, so you go like that and then you're putting a card underneath and then that came down and, and hurt the poor little thing. It's still alive but it's injured and I put it outside in my Albrecia. Um the purple plant in the front, I think it's called Aubrecia. But I'm always trying to rescue little creatures and then sometimes you injure them when you're doing it and then I hope it can survive. I don't think it can fly now, but it's crawled down amongst the Aubrecias. But that's so pretty, this little plant. Here's the alpacas or, or llamas on this makeup bag from Poundland. And, uh, I've got Cadbury's chocolate in there at the moment, the Oreo. But um, yeah, they're nice, and it's nice and nice and roomy. You should keep, be able to keep a few things in here. I thought it said mothballs. <laughs> there they are, malt balls. Somebody's very pretty, and somebody's very silly. <laughs> such an odd angle. Oh, uh, what are you trying to climb on my monitor for? You are a funny little pose. <laughs> it's so comical. What are you doing? One o'clock in the morning. Time all good cats are fast asleep. Yes. Let's see what I've got left. That's all that's left of my chocolate teapot. The spout's gone, the handle's gone, and its base is gone, but the, my favourite chocky amongst them has been left there. So, um, yeah, and of course the rabbit's still slightly seemed almost worn off. But my favourite chocky is still in here, the um, jasmine tea. Fa oh, it's delicious. That's delicious. But sadly, as nice as this is, it's nothing, nothing like as good as the extraordinary dippy egg. It pales into insignificance besides that. doesn't even taste as nice. That was the most, well, the best Easter egg ever, ever, ever. Delicious. With its dark, beautiful, delicious dark chocolate covered in the layer of white that looked like a large egg. But this chocolate, that is sublime. It's lovely.